Hey everybody, so uh, for many, many years, as many years as I've been doing this YouTube channel, which is coming up on seven years, I think it's kind of crazy. Um, I have heard from many of you all that you have bought a kneaded eraser and it is poor quality. I have also seen with my own eyes, many of my students have bought the same brand of kneaded eraser and there are two things that happen. Either it's so tough that my little kids cannot stretch it out because they don't have the strength or it's literally crumbly and it will not stretch or knead in the way that it's supposed to for the eraser to function. Unfortunately, this is the most common, easy to purchase brand in the US. I'm not sure what it's like in other areas of the world, <laughs> different countries, but this brand is, I've been confused about it before because it's called the Design Prismacolor Kneaded Eraser. So sometimes you will see it labeled with the Prismacolor wrapper. Sometimes it's going to say design, the brand that owns it is called Newell. So I'm going to include a link in the description below so that you can actually contact the company if your eraser is bad. But let me show you what it's gonna look like when it's bad. So I haven't bought one of these in many years because it's been so bad. Like I think it's been since 2017 that I've noticed they've been of poor quality. Um, so in the time since then, I have switched to either the Lyra brand, which comes with this little case, or the Faber-Castell or Faber-Castell, which also comes with the case. Now, <laughs> the Faber-Castell one is very stretchy. It's like super gummy. It's a bigger eraser, so it's gonna stretch out really far. Um, it's almost a little bit too soft because sometimes you'll get little pieces that fling everywhere. Um, but you're gonna see that it works really well if I want to press and lift and take some off. Um, I'm gonna do another little patch here to show you with the Lyra and then another patch to show you with the Prismacolor. So it works well, it lifts, you can knead it back in and use it again. The Lyra is a little bit tougher than the Faber-Castell, but once you get it sort of stretching, then it really works well. And you can see I can do that press and lift, and it works super well. Now this one I just opened from this wrapper. This is the Prismacolor um, <clears throat> one, and you can see that I tried to knead it, but I can't. <laughs> so. I can tear it apart and I'm not forcing this. Like I am kind of a 90 pound weakling, but this is not forced. This is just the quality of the eraser. It tears, but I can't get it to actually knead up. Let's try another one. I literally just opened this one seconds ago. So that one's a little bit better, but can I get it to need at all? No, I can't. I mean, I can pull it apart. That works okay. And it doesn't come with a container, so if it's sitting out, you know it's just gonna get more dry and problematic, like this one did that I opened last week. This one I can't get to need at all. I wish I were faking this, but no, I just can't do it. So you can imagine that if a seven-year-old is actually trying to do this, <laughs> they are a little bit smaller than me still. I'm about the size of a 12-year-old, so. This one, let's try it again. It's getting a little bit better. So it is kind of warming up just a little bit, but I can't really work with it. So I'm not even gonna bother to open this one because I know it's going to be the same. So let's try to a race with this one, if I press and lift, it is going to take some off, but then how do I knead it back in together to get a clean spot? I can't really. And then if I were to do a third, or sorry, fourth patch with this extra hard one, 
I can't even mush this one together, so it's just gonna be. Okay, so it will erase, but then again, how do I get that graphite to go back in to the center? You can't, you need to be able to knead it. This is why it's called a kneaded eraser so that you can get that graphite off of the surface to be able to use it with a fresh spot again. So what to do? What you wanna do is save your little plastic wrapper piece. You want to save your receipt where you bought the item. And then I'm going to include the link to contact the company below in the description. You wanna email them. The first time they asked me for this little code on the back and then the receipt and the purchase date, um, the second time, several years later, I just emailed them again now, recently this past week, and they said, just tell me what product you were using, give me your address, let me know how many you purchased, and we will send you replacement ones. They also said that they would make note with their quality control. I'm going to send them this video because I'm not the only one who's had this problem. I've seen I would say easily 50 students have this problem over the last few years, and I know there have been about 50 of you all that have commented on other videos about the kneaded eraser that have had the same problem. So I don't know what's happening between the factory and the composition that they're making it and maybe how long they sit on the shelf or what's happening in storage or transport, or if the product just isn't a great formula any, anymore. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna let them know and collectively, if we all let them know, then hopefully they can do something to make their product as good as it used to be. So I hope this helps you guys out. I'm sorry you got a bad eraser, but um, now we have something to do about it.